Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing tarot cards and I have a tarot card for you today. It is the Three of Cups, lovely tarot card. We're also going to dive into some of the imagery on this card to help you understand a little bit more about how you can use the imagery to help you understand the meaning of the card if you're learning to read the tarot yourself. Before we do that, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. I'm the author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. If you want to know more about Wicca, Witchcraft, Tarot and Spells and Magic and Shadow Work, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want a tarot reading with me, a tarot coaching session, you can book either a half hour or a full hour with me. There's a link in the description field for how you can go about doing that. It is a tarot and oracle card reading booking form. If you want to become a tarot reader yourself and you're wanting to figure out how do I get this tarot thing happening without like balking at a reading when you, you get a spread in front of you and you just look at it and you're trying to remember what all the meanings are that you've read in the books. <laughs> My tarot reading course, which is called The Confident Tarot Reader, will help you confidently read the tarot cards using your intuition as well as the knowledge that you have in the books. So there's a link in the description field for how you can find out more information about that and also join that course as well. This is a very beautiful card. It's the Three of Cups and it's always, well, it's not always, <laughs> But it's often a very positive meaning when you find that in a tarot spread. Although sometimes it can mean that there's like a third person involved in a relationship or something like that. That's one way that you can see that card. But generally it is a card of celebration. So you're celebrating with friends. It's the number three, which in numerology means growth and creativity so you can see that something is happening you can see the results of something happening and because it's cups which relates to the emotional realm you're seeing results that are of an emotional nature there's something that you're feeling good about essentially and you're celebrating that perhaps with other people that want to celebrate with you in this card, we have the three graces of Greek mythology. They're dancing around with their cups in the air, celebrating and giving good bounty and health and uh, really good experiences to people. And if you go into the card, uh, that's pretty much most of what you can see is these, the graces celebrating. You've got oranges there. Orange is a, a color of optimism and joy and celebration you've got yellow there which is also a card of joy and celebration and the other colors there are white which uh, always lends itself to a sense of um, purity there in in the celebratory aspect so it's all very positive um, energy that you see in this card with the blue background you've got uh, the yellow ground there with uh, fruits there too so there's bounty in this card as you can tell with the fruits that are also seen in this card so when the card is upright it's good fortune friendship celebration and joy and that's what the, the message is today. It's about celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. If you're feeling joyful over something, anything, it could be the littlest thing that's gone right for you today or that little tiny thing. It could just be that you've seen uh, a flower today and it's brought joy to you when you saw that beautiful flower. Celebrate it. One of the things that will help raise your vibration and help bring you into attracting more of the things that you want and helping you with your magic as well if you're doing magic or law of attraction work is to celebrate every little thing that's good in your life celebrate all of the wins so if you're you're doing magic or manifestation work and you're starting to see uh, evidence of it working or it did work 
celebrate that. Even if it's just jumping for joy, celebrate that. Be grateful for it. That's one of the things that the graces can teach is being grateful for what you do have in your life that brings you joy. So celebrate, celebrate, celebrate all of the joys that are in your life right here, right now, in this instant. If you're reading the tarot and the card comes up either reversed if you do reversals or it's coming up in a way that is more on a negative side of things, it can indicate the opposite of what it means in the upright, which is instead of celebrating with friends, you may be feeling a little on the isolated side, um, hiding away from people or not feeling like you're part of, of a group of people, feeling left out of a group of people. It can mean three's a crowd, so it could mean that there's a third person involved in a love relationship, for example. That card can come up definitely if there is an extra, an extra person where there shouldn't be. It can also indicate, because if you look at it upside down, oops, that's my glasses on so I can see. It has a different feeling when it's upside down. You know, it's like um, the the cups are facing down. So it's like if there was anything in the cups, that it would be pouring out. It would be going down into the ground. It's like almost like throwing the cup down on the ground and getting up and walking away. So it can lend to the feeling of you know maybe um, being unfairly treated in some way or some kind of social isolation of some sort or being left out of something if it's reversed. So it's, it's a pretty icky feeling. So if you are feeling that way, then you're feeling left out, you're feeling like you're not part of something, then it's a case of imagining what would it feel like if you were feeling a part of something, if you were celebrating with other people, if you were a uh, part of a group, what would that feel like? and feel it just decide to feel that decide to feel it it doesn't have to be in your reality to feel it because if you're imagining that you're in a social situation with people and you're enjoying yourself and you're celebrating something then your subconscious mind as far as it's concerned it's real because what's imagined feels real to the subconscious and that's the way that you use magic. It's how you attract that to you and create those circumstances in your reality sometime in the future. So if you are feeling more of the upside down uh, three of cups, the message today is that all of that can stop and you can actually feel that emotional joy and celebration with other people. As I said at the beginning, if you want to become a Confident Tarot Reader, the Confident Tarot Reader course is there for you to start at any time. It is a do-it-yourself course, but you do have me to help you with any questions or anything that you're unsure of. And you can also book a tarot coaching session with me one-on-one. -on -one. Everything is in the description field below this video and also on my website. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.